Good morning. Good morning. Today is Friday of the second week of Lent. Our Mass intention today is for the deceased, Joseph Campos, and this Mass is being live streamed. And also, I want to continue to celebrate this Mass for the intention of those people who are sick. We have a good number of people, our parishioners, who are sick in the hospitals, at homes, and also in the nursing homes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to the lasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attend the holy things to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph best of all his sons, for he was the child of his old age, and he had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw that their father loved him best of all his sons, they hated him so much that they would, even, they would not even greet him. One day when his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flocks in Shechem, Israel said to Joseph, Your brothers, you know, are tending our flocks in, at Shechem. Get ready, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them in Bethlehem. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, here comes the master dreamer. Come on, let us kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns. We could say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall then see what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, we must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, just throw him into that cistern there in the desert, but do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands and return him to his father. So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of the long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead, their camels laden with gum, balm, and resin to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, what, to, what is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to these Ishmaelites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. A responsorial psalm. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember, Remember the, marvels the marvels the Lord, the Lord has, has, done. has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crops that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember, Remember the, the marvels the Lord has Christ. done. They had weighed him down with feathers, they, and he was bound with chains till his predicament came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember, Remember the, the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his, ho of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember, Remember the, the marvels the Lord has done. Father, your blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise, Praise and you, honor to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they kill, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they, tr they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire the inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will, what will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard this parable, they knew that he was speaking of them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Black Book. Today's the message is talking about the twelve do not do well in this place called Gestaman. While Jesus was praying, they slept. When the arresting party arrived, one of their own was leading the way. Now one of them draws a sword and wounds the high priest's servant. Finally, in just a few moments, they will all abandon him. This was a bad night for the twelve. After the death and the resurrection of Jesus, they will recover, except for Judas, who committed suicide. This story has a good ending, not only for Jesus, but for the disciples, whose memory of Gestaman was a bad one. Tradition has its that most of the twelve died martyrs' death, which is quite a, a turning round. God's grace can do that. I can think of a guest man or two in my own life about a time that I didn't handle well. Has it been set right? God's grace can do that. Friends, we have heard the gospel today. Jesus is giving us a very good parable. God is the landowner. And he has sent his servants, the prophets, one after the other. The tenants they were not happy for them. They didn't like them. They didn't even follow their message. So they killed them. And Jesus is telling them this parable to remind his own fate, that even himself as the Son of God, they are turning also back against him. He wants to remind us that God's ways are not our ways. He has called us and he wants us to respond. 
if we don't make use of this invitation to be more fruitful in our lives, Jesus is challenging all of us that God will turn on the other people who will be ready to embrace. Let us make use of this time of Lent to be the time for us to respond to God's invitation. He invites us to love one another. He invites us also to recognize our weaknesses. He invites us also to recognize that we are sons and daughters of God. And he invites us always to recognize only God can make a difference. It has never been too late to experience God's mercy. Let us make use of this opportunity. Let us make use of this land. Always we say, oh, next time. Next time, when? And I always say, yesterday is history. And tomorrow is mystery. Today is a gift. Let us make use of this gift God has given us to recognize we are the servants of God. He has called us so that we may have life, life abundantly. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for giving us this wonderful day. And we pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick in the hospitals, in the nursing homes, in the homebounds, so that God making you may continue to give them love and care. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us to spread love to those who are lacking and in need of more love and care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Daniel D. Jordan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parents who are struggling with the complexities of today's world to be guided by the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those living with serious medical issues, may they find peace and comfort through the love of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us to seek opportunities to forgive those who have harmed us, we pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, Bishop Nestout, our priests, deacons, religious, and lay ministers, to continually be inspired and guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O Lord, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to eat by devout way of life 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, O Lord, to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children on sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of things passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread and drink, drink this cup, we, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Joseph Campos, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and precious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. And we ask if you're watching live stream, please put a note in the chat box. Peace be with you. Thank you so Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
God loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Deacon Giri, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. The first reading, I didn't want to comment on that, but I wanted you to give you an, as an assignment. Just go and read. Why the sons of Jacob, they wanted to kill their only brother. And if you go to the next chapter, you will get to know more. But God's ways are not our ways. God knows us even to where we are going to end up. And you can realize that God always remains with an open arms to embrace us, to forgive us, and to let us to recognize no matter what, we still our brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.